Good morning guys and welcome back. So I'm going to show you how to jack up your car in a very safe and easy way. I'm actually going to show you in two cars. One is our 2010 Jeep Wrangler that's got solid axles and a solid frame where the frame is different than the body and also my wife's 2016 Mazda CX-3 which is a unibody design. Now, obviously these cars are going to react a lot differently when you do jack them up. So I'm going to show you a few tips where to jack them, how to jack them and what the safest way is. So as always the best thing to do is if you're if you can get a flat surface, obviously concrete is best, but if you can't, try and get the most hardest surface possible to jack up on, it's gonna be the safest thing to do. Also make sure it's flat, and if you are up on the road changing a flat tire, make sure you give yourself enough room from traffic and you're in a safe spot. Put up some cones or some flags if you can. Also, it's always a good idea to put a chock of wood or a rock underneath your back tire if you're jacking out the front, and then the front tire if you're jacking out the back just in case the car does roll. Now we're going to get started on the Jeep. The Jeep is easy and simple to jack up, but you can jack in multiple locations because we've got the um, solid frame underneath the car. But if you're jacking underneath the frame, the body of the car is going to come up first and the wheel is going to stay on the ground. If we're going to show you underneath the front of the car, underneath the solid front axle, show you how the car is going to lift up very safely. If you can and you're in the garage, use a jack stand. Um, very easy, you can get these very cheap from Super Cheap Auto or other leading brands, our jack. And if you don't have a jack stand, what you can do is either get your, if you've got a spare tire or wheel sitting around your house, please use that. If you don't use your spare wheel, that's either on the back of your car or in the boot of your car. Just to slide underneath the body of the car, so if the jack does fail and you're underneath it, it's going to save you. you. The last thing you want is that jack failing and hitting you on the legs and pretty much sending you to hospital. So. Safest thing to do, put a tyre or a wheel underneath the body of your car. Very weird how to jack underneath the frame of your car and what's going to happen, it's going to lift the body up first. So we've got the jack underneath the frame of the car, one it takes longer to get up to the frame and if you start jacking, we've already maxed out the jack. So that body is going to come up first. You could put a block there and might raise it up a little bit more. So that's going to take more time and the body's going to come up first rather than the actual tyre that we actually want to get off. So, go and do that. Come around to the front of your car. So if we come to the front of the car, you'll see we've got the solid diff under the front, which has got a solid axle. We're going to either jack directly underneath the centre of the diff there, or we can jack under the underneath the control arm or any point on the actual axle itself. Not the control arms, these will bend, so either these lower control arms is fine, just not the steering arms. Or underneath the centre of the diff is a perfect place to get it. You can see that it is off centre, so this side of the wheel is going to come up first before that side. And just a couple pumps later, like it's maybe half the height that it was to actually get underneath the frame, ready off the ground, and ready to take that. So once the wheel's off the ground, you can either use your jack sand to place it underneath a frame or a control arm, or get your spare wheel tire, and slip your side underneath your frame or the body before you actually take the wheel off. That is the safest and easiest thing to do, and then you can go ahead and take your wheel off. That way if something fails, you got that as a little safety net to help yourself. So now we're going to head over to the Mazda and show you the difference between jacking up from a Jeep um, that's got a solid frame and a solid axle to a car that's got a unibody. So one of the main things you'll notice between the Jeep and the Mazda CX-3 is the ground clearance of the Mazda. It's a lot lower to the ground. So if you've got a high profile jack and you don't have a low profile jack and it keeps hitting on the body and you can't get under, simply grab a couple scrap pieces of wood place them on top of each other for a little bit more height and just simply drive your car up onto the blocks of wood you mainly just have to do one side if you're just doing one side do both if you want to get a little bit higher after you've driven it up onto the blocks of wood you can just slide your jack straight under great little tip also place a block of wood behind your rear tire if you're jacking up the front just like the jeep in case it does roll back so you'll notice on the cx3 there is no solid chassis or this underneath the car there is hollow frame 
So if you end up jacking on that, you'll end up pressing up the floor of the car and possibly damaging something. But you'll notice just underneath this plastic, there is a bit of steel there. Now you'll notice there's a few little dimples or off cuts in the actual frame of it. Normally it's where this little gap is in the door. So what we've got to do is line it up with that and just keep an eye on it because if you miss that, you'll end up pressing into the floor. So make sure it's nice and centered. Sometimes they have a little, I think BMWs or Audis actually have like a little arrow here and a little cup that you can jack up on. So just have a look for the arrow. If you've got a European, maybe an Audi or a BMW, just have a look for that. And you can see the car starting to come up. And that's pretty much it for the Mazda. Now you can go along and push your spare wheel or your tire underneath the car. That way when you take the wheel off, it's the safest thing. All right, so that's pretty much it for today, guys. I hope this video helped you jack up your car in a safe and easy way. The safer, the better. So if you ever unsure, maybe stop and ask someone, maybe give a hand. But if you can do it yourself, it's very easy. You just have to make sure everything's safe, you're jacking up on the right points, and you've got that safety net of either having your spare wheel or a spare tire and make sure you guys use those box woods and you're on a flat surface. But if all out fails, you can always revert to your owner's manual. They've got a few helpful tips on where to jack things up and what to do with the car as well. So if all else fails, go to your owner's manual. Everyone's got one normally in the glove box or underneath your seat. If not, good old Google fails. Maybe some other YouTube videos might cover a few other things that I haven't. Also on different European cars or other cars that might have different jacking points that I didn't know about. So if this video is helpful to you, please let me know in the comments below. I love making videos that will benefit you guys and help you guys out in the real world. So as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week.